Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm on to do with you to do my A to Z card collaboration that is hosted by the lovely Leslie Bromfield. And on today's one, it is G and H. So I've chose gnomes and horses. And of course they're going to be Christmas cards. So first of all, let's just get my bits ready. My desk is full of Christmas crafts at the moment. I'm surrounded by it, but I love it. It's Christmas. Well, it will be. <laughs> um, so, it has to be a 5 by 7 card. You can do anything you want on it, as long as it's a 5 by 7 card. Um, so, I've got my 5 by 7 and I'm going to put it like landscape wear. Um, I've got some silver mirror card sorry for the glare if that's glaring up at you and i'm just going to do some layers and then i've got this gorgeous like wine colored card that is gonna go like that and then these gorgeous horses are gonna sit here but i've also got uh some um peel offs <laughs> which I'm going to put to ground them. So first of all, let's move the mirror card out of the way. I'm going to put it on my coloured card. And the horses I'm using are, um, what are they? They are decoupage, de de decoupage. Um, so yeah. Come on, I've already put them together. I hope this is straight because it'll spoil the rest of the card if it's not. I think that's more or less straight. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, just fold them back on themselves. Right, I'm gonna do two. And it just adds that little bit extra. Um, and I don't get to use my peel-offs new enough is what I should, so. That. Oh no, don't stick. Please don't stick. I can't get it up. Can't get it up. There we go. Right, let's see. That was probably straight as well. That. There we go. That'll do. So, how is everybody getting on with the Christmas crafting? Um, Christmas cards. Uh, homemade Christmas gifts. Um, would you believe it? I haven't actually made any homemade Christmas gifts. Shocked myself completely. <laughs> right, so let's put some glue on this first before I bring that mirror card in because it does get right in your face. So I'm just going to glue everything. So all I've been doing is Christmas crafting. <laughs> and, and, I've been doing some Christmas shopping. Yes, I have. Should be finished my Christmas shopping, hopefully. Um, by next week sometime. I don't think I've cut this straight, but it's okay. Yeah, hopefully by next week <laughs> and I'll be done. Um, so yeah, not the most organised of people when it comes to uh, Christmas. It's always last minute with me. So if I get it done early, I get it done early and it's a bonus. But we'll see, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we will see. Right, so this is going to go on here. Let's get that as straight as we possibly can. Yeah, I think I've cut my card one key. Okay. Never mind. Right, I keep looking at my up at my camera. I think it's in the wrong place. I think it needs adjusting. I'll adjust it for the next video. Okay, okay. Right, and then we've got our little decoupage decoupage it says 
the way it's written down, it says decoupage. So, yeah, forgive me if I revert back to that. So that is going to sit on there. And then I've got these uh, Christmas sentiments. And I've got this. I might be too small, actually. Um, uh, that's gold. I think the others are gold as well. Hang on a minute. Um, that's... Yeah, I think I'll use this one. So this is going to go here. Um, and I've also got some Nouveau Drops in Silver Moon Dust. So I'm just going to cut the tabs off where they've been stuck together. Yeah. Could back this on some more card, couldn't I? But I'm not going to. I think it looks quite nice. It's a very simple card, this. Right, so I'm going to stick this down first. I'm not going to put any dimension on this. It's got enough dimension on the little horses. So I'm just going to put that Happy Christmas right there. And then we will stick the horses down. So H is for horses. I know G comes first, but I wanted to do the horses. <laughs> The beautiful. It's like um, a carriage, you know, the Christmas carriages. Gorgeous. So I'm just going to sit that there like that. Yeah, like that. I think it's straight. <laughs> there we go. It's straight. I did have some glitter, but I don't know what I've done with it. So we're going to use this silver moon dust. Right, so check it first on my glass mat make sure it comes out properly um, let's put some down here I'm just going to dot them all over actually big ones some little ones uh, oh Hardly anything there. Come on. Uh, I think that looks quite nice. Put a big one there. I think I'll put a big one here as well. There we go. Oh, that looks nice, that. It's plain. It's simple. I'm just going to bat it down, so... Them nouveau drops look pretty. So there is my first one. There is my hitch. Hitch for horse. Um, so I'm gonna put that. Where am I gonna put it? I've not got nowhere to put anything because, like I said, there's Christmas crafts everywhere. Right, and then I'm going to do my my Christmas gnomes. How pretty are them? I knew I had some gnome stamps. So I've been hunting around. Oh, and you know what happened? Well, me being me and not thinking, you know, things that don't occur to me. I um I ruined some of my stamps. I'm absolutely gutted. See, because I store my stamps. Oh, that's stuck. It's proper gooey. So I store my stamps in these little plastic things and I do store them on like a uh, thick card. Um, but what's happened is, like I said, me not thinking, um, I've stored it right near my radiator and they've melted my stamps. I didn't think it was actually possible to melt stamps, but they're all gooey, they're all sticky, they're all stuck together and I'm absolutely gutted absolutely gutted um i've moved them like cause i've got my, my stamps are all in one box and they're all stored this way all stored flat and they all stick to like a thick piece of card in like the a5 uh paper pouches and they were fine uh so i've moved the box i haven't gone through any of the others yet i'm hoping fingers crossed Oh, that they're all okay. I'm I'm really hoping. 
Um, so we will see when I check on what's gone on with them. So yeah. Oh, I'm gutted. But I managed to save these beautiful gnomes. Well, I actually saved all of these. And I'll put some on some acetate. And I'm just going to have to find another way to store them. Um, I need some of them little plastic wallets, don't I? Yeah, I think uh, an Amazon uh, shopping spree is in order. <laughs> My excuse anyway. I need them. I need to. Uh, so, what have I done? Like I said, I stamped them out. Um, I used... Uh, what did I use? Uh, Memento Black ink. Um, and the background, what I did was I used the Distress Oxide in is it Mermaid Lagoon. Could be wrong. Yeah. In Mermaid Lagoon, sprayed water on it and then added some explosion powders. And the explosion powder that I did use is called Neptune. And I just like, can you see the shine? It's absolutely gorgeous gorgeous i love it and it's on some watercolor paper as well so it's quite thick uh, so all i'm going to do is i'm going to stick that on there like that and be done with it um i might use some um glossy accents i've got some glossy accents here you know for the the, the hearts um and maybe the stars yeah, anyway, stop jabbering and waffling on and let's get sticking. So, two very simple cards. Um, it took me ages to figure out what to do as well. So, what can I do? Like, the Christmas cards that start with a G and a H. And I was racking my brain, I was racking my brain, and then I come up with gnomes. Yeah, so yeah, so I found my gnomes, gorgeous they are as well, they're not Christmas gnomes I don't think, um, and then I found the little stamp in with my gnomes actually, so I must have used them at some point to do um, some Christmas crafting, I'm not sure, that is so wonky, never mind. And I've used the sentiment that says, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Right, let's see if we can get these glossy accents to work. Because they weren't working last time we used them. Um, I think it got all blocked. Right, let's see if they're going to come out. No, nope, it's all blocked. Use my pen that I use for my glue. And you can see it's all blocked. So I might have to take the top off. And go and clean it. Honestly, do not think that's going to come out. I might have to use my... Oh, it's coming out. It's okay. Let's hope it doesn't get blocked. I'm sorry if my head gets in the way. Uh, so, I'm just going to fill the little heart in. And the little star. And another little and it just adds something else because I'm not putting anything else on there. I love it as it is. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that's nice, that. Oh, love to get a card like this. It's beautiful. Oh, and now I've just gone and put my hands in something. Yeah, that's what I put my hands in. The glossy accents at the side, I think. There we go. All wiped up, good as new. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to bring this card in. So there are my two cards for uh, Leslie Bumfield's A to Z collaboration. Um, there is a few uh, other collaborators. I will link everybody in the description box below as well as Leslie herself. Um, so yeah, go over and check them all out. And I hope you enjoyed watching. If you do, or if you did, give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment down below. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.